Of course, we reported earlier this week regarding the death of legendary basketball coach Pat Summit, who died from early onset Alzheimer's. Summit coached the University of Tennessee Lady Vols for 38 years, holds the record for most wins in college basketball, is a legend in every conceivable metric, but was only 64 years old when she died from the disease. Now, of the 5 million Americans who suffer Alzheimer's, 5% have the early onset form where people under the age of 65 are affected. CBS News medical contributor Dr. Holly Phillips is here to explain then what the disease is, who it affects, and it, uh, Doc, this is a disease I think everybody feels like they understand, but then maybe they don't. And specifically the right. early onset form here, you know, it wasn't that Pat Summit was just 64 when she died. She was 59 when she was diagnosed. Absolutely. It, it certainly catches you off guard, yeah. right, this early onset form. In general, Alzheimer's is a disease of aging. Uh, it tends to strike in the mid-60s. Every five years from 65 on, our risk of developing the disease doubles. So by the time we're 85, we have about a 50% chance of developing Alzheimer's. However, there is this early onset form that affects about 5% of all Alzheimer's sufferers. But but when you think about it, there's 5 million people with Alzheimer's disease. That's still hundreds of thousands of people affected by this early onset form. Uh, it strikes in the 40s and 50s, and unfortunately, it tends to be even more aggressive than the Alzheimer's disease that strikes uh, people in, in older ages. So people decline more quickly, um, and they're affected more aggressively. It's a, it's a brain disease. How, though, does it become deadly? Right. Well, so Alzheimer's is a... Is a brain disease, it involves the buildup of proteins. Specifically, they're called amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. These are sort of long names for basically sticky proteins that spread all around the, the brain's cells. When those proteins spread, they cut off the, the, the ability for nutrients and sometimes oxygen to reach the brain cells, and so the cells die. As the brain cells start to die, not only do you lose your memory, your ability to think, you also lose the ability to do everyday things, like get up and take care of yourself, uh, to speak, to eat and drink. So actually one of the most common causes of mortality in Alzheimer's is what we call aspiration pneumonia. Mm -hmm. That's where instead of drinking liquids, you actually end up um, inhaling them. It causes a serious infection and ultimately death. It's one of the most common ways people with Alzheimer's die. We know so much about it. How is it that it's still not treatable? Right, right. You know, so there are some treatments, uh, about five FDA approved. They can improve memory, improve thinking for people who are suffering from Alzheimer's. But what we don't have is what we need. There are no treatments that can lengthen life, that can slow the progression of the, z are of we the close? disease. Are close? Do we know if there we're close? There are no cures. Well, we do have some experimental treatments that are out there that seem to be able to block uh, the formation of these um, plaques of the neurofibrillary tangles or to slow, at least slow down how quickly they are developing. The idea is to develop a cocktail of drugs that's able to, uh, um, you know, attack Alzheimer's from multiple angles. You know, we found we've been able to do that with HIV, right? Mm -hmm. There's a cocktail of drugs and it stops the progression of the disease um, from different angles. They hope that we can do that with Alzheimer's as well. And there are some beginning stages, some, some drugs in the beginning stages of experiments uh, that seem to be able to do that. Uh, admittedly, one of the reasons I do a crossword puzzle every day is to keep the brain nimble, but I've also also heard that it's that mind teasers, brain games, and such can help. What can sure. it, can, can at least sure. can can keep things as sharp and and perhaps as resistant to something like this? Right. Well, in general, it, doing brain games, staying active, we know it delays the onset of dementia of of all forms, not just Alzheimer's. Uh, but Alzheimer's has a huge genetic component, mm -hmm. um, so the crossword puzzles may not necessarily uh, be enough. That having been said, the more active you can be, the more you use your brain, uh, the better you are in it's the long term. Just in off. This, it's as cruel as it gets. One of the awful, awful things it is out devastating. there that we suffer. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get it fixed. Doc, right. as always, we appreciate it. Great to be here.